Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. This week we're gonna pay a visit to my good friend Luke and I'll show you his diecast collection. I hope he's home. Let's find out. Hi there Luke. How's it going man? Hi Chris. Fine and you? I'm good, I'm good, I'm fine. Good. So uh, where do you hide the good stuff? Mostly in my uh, office okay. and some in the living room. All right, so yeah. where, where should we start? Uh, you want to start with the big part or the smaller part? Well, I'm going to leave the smaller part for later. Okay, okay. <laughs> so let's go in the office. This is some collection you have here. <laughs> yeah, and that's not everything, that's part of it. Yeah, but it's the most part. It's the most part. Yeah. Yeah. I have around... 170 models. 170, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good collection there. So before we start looking at cars, uh, maybe for our, my viewers, uh, a little background should be nice. So we've known each other since what? Uh, high school? High school, yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so uh, Luke's been my, uh, my best friend since uh, high school. And we've been collecting cars together since what? Uh, when did you start collecting cars? Uh, at around the same time you did. So, uh, like, my first one was a Dodge Viper, a red Dodge Viper from Bibliorago uh, in what? Uh, 92? Yeah. Yeah, 92. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But uh, at some time uh, in life, I stopped my collection because I didn't have the space. Okay. And I also had a uh, fire in my apartment at yeah. uh, in 2003. So 2003, I lost, yeah. uh, I lost uh, the major part of my uh, uh, diecast collection. I still have a few that I oh, kept, yeah? but they are not displayable. But okay, I, okay. St I, I kept them just as a reminder. Okay, so can we look at them first? Uh, yeah, we can. Okay, and we'll Let's come go. back here after. No problem. These are my, I think I have four die casts from the, the oh. fire that were salvaged. Well, salvage is a big, oh my God. <laughs> I have two vipers and those two vipers that I liked in originally. So, as you can see, it's yeah. the, the, the fire dust is still there. You should leave it there, man. It's so cool. Yeah. It didn't burn down. It's no, just it didn't all the uh, there. The plastic didn't melt it or anything. It's just you know regular fire damage. You exactly. know. It... One. Don't don't don't. Damn. <laughs> this is the other viper. I swear I would have liked to have this one today. With the GT wing and everything, I love it. It was white. It was beautiful. But you know, you know what could be done with this car? We could build a diorama and make some sort of a barn find or a fire rescue diorama and uh, put it there. It could be uh, something. Yeah, that was one of the main reason why I kept it. I wanted to keep them for a reminder, for a a souvenir. Yeah. But uh, that would make some good thing for a diorama so yeah, yeah. We'll, uh, we'll figure something out i guess yeah <laughs> so where are we now this is my uh, photo studio okay this is where i do my uh, diorama photography and diecast photography nice nice yeah yeah boxes and boxes and boxes you know what should we do with all these boxes man rent a containers <laughs> <laughs> this is everybody's problem you got nice cars but you know nowhere to put the boxes one of the main reason i came here it, it was to see your porsche collection so wow you have quite a lot they look pretty nice yeah so let's start with uh, this case here so what can you tell me about these uh, ironically, when I restarted my collection, the first thing that I was uh, attracted to was the uh, the Le Mans part of the Porsche history. So 
I started researching from where I would start in my collection and everything. So uh, I literally did go on the Le Mans page, the Wikipedia Le Mans page. Okay. And um, uh, started to see from where Pasha was uh, introducing themselves in Le Mans. And I started my collection like that. Oh, okay. So, uh, so which one was the first one? The oldest one, not the... Not the first one I bought, but the oldest one is this one. We can see that it's a very smaller car. Okay. This one is a Porsche 904 from 1964. Okay. It's the first one of the the 900 gen from um, Porsche in uh, Le Mans. Or I say Le Mans, but uh, some cars did the uh, 12 hours of Sebring or something like that, but it's in the same era. So it's, okay. the, it's the race era of Porsche. And who made that model? This one is made by a uh, mini chip. So after the 904, who came next? Uh, it's around, uh, I think it's this one, which okay. is the 906. And uh, you, we can see an evolution here. So it's the 906, 9, Oh seven nine ten. These are the nine seventeen. This is where Porsche became the most mostly famous. Uh, like yeah. this one, uh, driven by Vic Elfert. Uh, this one won the twenty four hour of Le Mans. Uh, not this one. This one, sorry. Yeah, this one. <laughs> uh, this one. Who, who, made, think, who made this car? I think mine is a CMR, if I remember correctly. Let me just check it out. Yes, it's a CMR. CMR, okay. Mine is a... It's I don't a, even remember. Is it in... Uh, it's an eagle. It's an eagle. Yeah, eagle. We'll have okay. to check later. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember. But I know, what I know is mine is cheaper than yours. Is it? Mm, not, not necessarily. It's a steel model, so uh, okay. you can't open anything, so... When we talk about seal model, I don't see necessarily a higher or lower quality. If the if the paint is good and some details in the interior is fine. Okay. I mean, what can we say about a seal model other than that? So, no, you're right. You're right. All right. So what do we got next? So these were the 917? 917K, those three. Okay. That's a 917, but it's the... The long hole, so uh, as you can see, it's oh, yeah, quite yeah. longer. Oh, nice. And this one is an auto art, so uh, it's oh. very detailed. Nice details. Yep. That's a cool car. Let's talk about these guys here. These ones, uh, we are more in the 930s from there. This is a 934. Yes, absolutely. Uh, that's a 934. Those two are 935. I got. I have those too. <laughs> yes, you have them. <laughs> this is a wonderful model made by Noah Norev. Nothing is opening, but visually it's very cool. Okay. Can we take it out? This one? Yes, yes of course. I love the, how wide it is and everything. I love the rims. It's a beautiful model. Interesting racking system you got there. Did yeah. You, did you make? Where did you buy that? Uh, I didn't buy them. I have a three D printer, so uh, I printed them. Printed all of this. All of them. <laughs> Let's say this one is this really one, nice. This one is uh, kind of rare. It may. Sorry, it's made by a uh, true scale model, so it's highly, highly detailed. It's a 936, and it's amazingly beautiful. I can open it to show it to you. Okay. It is indeed extremely detailed. You can see all the, the wires yeah, yeah. and everything.
Let's talk about the uh, more modern generation. Yeah, the RSR uh, 911s. So uh, I have a few of them. This one is a beautiful one. Uh, it uh, it was the winner in I think 2018. Cool. And it's a beautiful model. It's from IXO. No, this no. one is from uh, it's uh, from any champ. Even if it's a sealed model. <laughs> Don't drop it! Yeah, it's a mini champ. It's a, it's a sealed mini champ. Yeah, but the paint is crazy good. I know, I know, it's really good. Cool. Those two are um, why they are separate from the others and why they are together. It's because it's first place in second place in 2019 if i remember mm -hmm. and uh the the pink one is a spark model this is the winner of the le mans absolutely and the other one is from ix so the the price difference is quite different but the quality of the of those two are very very near ixo is a surprising company in terms of uh quality oh, yeah? uh, regarding the price uh, cool. the, it's quite uh, cheaper than spark <laughs> yeah because spark is so, so expensive. expensive yeah how about these two white cars i mean yeah they have a small history oh, yeah uh, this one uh, it is simple this is a gift from you and <laughs> it's a it's one of my top uh, top two top three cars in my collection so let, let me uh, let me help you with that so basically i bought you this car uh, back in 2008 and at the time these cars were only i i paid only 135 dollars for it but it turns out that these cars became extremely rare <laughs> Yeah. And today, if you want to find one on eBay, it's going to run you uh, in the 600 uh, you know, easily. Approximately, yeah. 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 And I they hate, are I, hard to find. They are hard to find, yeah. yeah. So I hate myself for giving you this car. <laughs> <laughs> I should have kept it, man. But, you know, no, it's, it's, a gift is a gift. So, exactly. Uh, so this still is an absolutely oh. beautiful car. Absolutely. Yes. The, the other white one. The other one is... Uh, Quite rare. It's made by UT. Mm -hmm. It was the um, 964 the, era. Yeah, this is from the 964 era by UT. Like I said, it's a GT2 Evo, and the the difference is from the special front that this car had. The other white one was rare. This is <laughs> extremely <laughs> rare too, and expensive. But the guy who sold me that didn't know what he had in in his oh. hand because he sold me that car like it was a normal gt2 from ut so oh, cool so you got lucky extremely lucky on this <laughs> good one. for you man yeah i uh, sorry man but i'm just a sucker for miami blue and lizard green it's a uh, python green python green sorry python sorry green. so take these two out i want to see them closer yeah <laughs> they are both from uh, Mini Chem. Uh, they are sealed, but very beautiful cars. So this one is a Carrera Four, mm -hmm. and this one is a Turbo. A Turbo, Turbo, Turbo. It is a Turbo. Turbo. So beautiful cars. All all sealed model. All sealed model. Are they composite? Yeah. Um, it's. Ah, this one's sure. uh, this yeah, one's metal, it might yeah. Be metal. Yeah, cool. So this one is a Singer Porsche, exactly. Which is a uh, a license customization shop. Ex yeah, yeah. We can say that. Yeah, like a RWB or a Gunter, but this one is a beautiful model. It's a it's a resin one. It's made from by a cult, cult 3D, I think, a cult model. I, cult model, yeah. Cult model. It's beautiful. The interior is nice with the, the tartan and everything. Yeah. It's very good. And the, the other one here? 
the other one it's a um it's from uh, Shuko and uh, it's a uh, 935 I al always wanted a Jagermaster one because I love orange so uh, <laughs> I... there's a good reason to buy a car I mean it's <laughs> yeah. orange I like orange and <laughs> it's extremely detailed because Shuko like to detail them cool so we were talking about Gunter works yep. I see you have one there yeah this one can we look at it? Of course. <laughs> Dust. <laughs> you didn't clean your car before. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so it's uh, it's risen. It's made by GT Spirit. So, oh, uh, cool. But beautiful. I love white bodies. It's an extremely nice company. They don't have a lot of models, but they are extremely performance oriented. Uh, these are monsters on road, so... Yeah, I've seen this model online. I was about to buy it, and then you called me and said, hey, I bought this gun to work car. And so I said, well, I'm just going to borrow it from you. <laughs> <laughs> borrow it? Nah. No, no, no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so we've looked at uh, your Porsches. Let's move on to the Ferraris. <laughs> yeah. As you can see, I have a, a lesser number of cars from Ferrari not that I don't like them but I am a Porsche guy so okay <laughs> <laughs> but I have uh, some of my Ferraris that I really like I wanted to have the big five so uh, from the 488 to the little Ferrari so I have collected them I have some other random Ferraris I have this one this one is the uh, that's quite an history from a friend. Uh, this car is not necessarily the nicest of my collection, but uh, it is coming from the Ferrari Museum in Maranello. So uh, it was bought there at the gift shop from one of my friends who visited the, the museum. So oh, that's cool. It, uh, it has some history because of that. So, uh, is, he, is he a Ferrari guy or...? Not really. He is was a... He was working uh, in Italy and had the opportunity to visit the museum. So he's, he likes cars in general. So it was obvious that he was going to uh, okay. visit the museum. So. so he chose this one for you? Yeah, exactly. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now let's move on to the uh, muscle car era. And wow, this is something. Hey, I've seen this car before. <laughs> yes. If you, get, if, if you guys haven't seen the video, I'll put a link in the description. I made a video about this car. Exactly. So tell, tell me about these two here. Uh, the transporter is uh, from Acme. Uh, I just, uh, I always wanted to have one because the Dutch 300 over it is a one of the few race cars that I have. And for me, a muscle car, race car, needs to go on a transporter that's, yeah, that's, just, that's, that's fair. Yes. my thing so and it was color matching so i bought yep. the transporter just because of that that's a cool move man yeah yeah i see you have uh, quite the mustang collection yeah and i love mustangs yeah i know mustang mustang <laughs> is your non-porsche car exactly <laughs> exactly so you have like from every era uh, I try to from 71 and under I mostly have all the years I think I'm missing maybe one year so that's a beautiful that's an Ele Eleanor Ele Eleanor that's an Eleanor yeah exactly from the movies that gone in 60 seconds yes it's made by shall be collectible so it's very nice one. and the yellow one uh, under it is it from the original like the original gone in 60 seconds uh, no, not this one. So this one's an, an auto art? Yeah, it's made by auto art. Auto art don't make a lot of muscle cars, but when they choose some, they yeah. are made with very, very nice details. This one is getting rarer on the market. Am I correct? It's very rare. Nice. Okay. Lise, put it back, please. Yeah. Well, I saw something interesting here. 
You got... Hey, you haven't told me about these two here. What the... Those two? Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. You have... Okay, take them out. Take them out. I want to see those. Yeah. <laughs> these are bullet models. So... Uh-huh. Uh, this is the original bullet that a good friend of mine. A good gave friend me. of you, yeah, a good friend of yours, yeah, yeah. I, <laughs> I might know this guy. <laughs> it's made from green light, uh, and it has Steve McQueen in it, so uh, it's cool. It's beautiful. It's really cool. Blah blah blah. Yeah, Steve McQueen. That's the original one. Cool. The other one is the 2003 it's from auto art i got because i believe they were the only one who made this i think so yes and they are usually very expensive but i got this one for a very very nice price because there was a small uh, paint rash paint rash on the top with a good polishing and everything i was able to Smooth to, it to smooth it out so uh cool. it's oh that's a really, really nice car yeah i love it and the other one is made by gt spirit and it's a it's an lb works modified car oh yeah it's wide it's beautiful it barely fits in your racking it barely fits in my <laughs> racking Sorry about the dust. Yeah, that's all right. Dust is part of life in 118 scale. Yeah. <laughs> See how wide uh, this is an LB work. So yeah, yeah. it's wide body. They are very extreme in their wide body, Absolutely. like RWB. So it's a beautiful die cast. One of my top die cast. So I'm going to borrow it? Hmm. <laughs> I might even give you the Gunter before this one. So. Oh, okay. <laughs> I tried. I tried. Yeah. <laughs> cool car, sure, man. Yeah. As you can see, I don't have any Fox body, but the empty space here is for a uh, Fox body from GMP or Acme that is on pre-order and like everything in the COVID era. It's delayed, it's delayed, it's delayed. So I should have it in the beginning November. of summer. Yeah, November. No. <laughs> <laughs> so moving on to the other muscle car, because yeah. I know I know you're a big fan of Mustangs. Yeah. Uh, but you're you also I are love Mopar. Yeah, you're you're also a Mopar guy. Yeah, so. exactly. So so we have some uh, some Duster, Cuda, some uh, Superbird. This one is a. Uh, rare one it was an exclusive one in the united states for toys r us oh, yeah? i think they made like uh, 1500 of them okay it's a uh, it's the race car version so uh, it has the the net on the window and everything so yeah. i can show it to you yeah now. yeah please please and it's orange yeah i know you have a thing with orange car yeah. so as you can see uh no, not even door handles. They are painted on them. Oh, okay. You have the net, the race wheels. Cool. So minimal details, eh? Minimal details on this one, but still a beautiful car. We have some Challenger, and we have a uh, Super B here. It's uh, this one is not that. It's a GMP. It's Highly, highly detail and it weights a ton. Uh, it has a small history because uh, a lot of people, a lot of uh, collectioners, uh, had issue with um, how GMP made the front. They didn't like the the headlight design and everything. In the end, for me, I like how they made it. So this is why I chose to buy this model but I didn't bought it online because uh, there was a lot of issue when the car were delivered to the resellers okay and um, like I heard, uh, I heard falling, about that, yeah. falling parts yeah. in the in the box and everything yeah. so I did do a 45 minute 
run to go to the, the hobby shop directly to check what I was going to buy okay, instead okay. of buying it online and yeah. having the surprise of having some parts that were... Uh, yeah, you didn't want to buy it sight unseen like no. like most of the auctions. Exactly. Cool. No, you made, and, the, you made the right choice because this, this, one, this one is perfect. Man. This one was perfect. Some cars were missing hood pins uh, and even the stud for okay. the pins that were missing in the car and everything. But this one was... Uh, Cool. The paint was equal and all the parts were there. Nice. Yeah. So th these are all your GTOs? Uh, these are my GTOs. Those two, uh, two boxes are uh, the GM part of my collection. I'm not the biggest GM fan, but I love some of them, like the GTOs that they made and uh, Corvette, of course. I have a few Firebird and I have a Buick GNX, Grand National GNX, yeah. because the 1-1 one -one car is one of my preferred cars in, in the 80s. Uh, I was close to, uh, to buy one, but at that time I didn't have the money. But yeah. it was so cheap at that time. I remember that time. There was this guy selling one for thirteen, fourteen thousand dollars. Exactly. But in the early nineties, it was still a lot of money, and we were young. Yeah. I remember the salesman didn't want us to test drive it, nope, so. nope. <laughs> and for good reason. Yeah. So th this the, the the car that we shopped back then probably worth what two hundred thousand dollars. So they maybe approximately maybe, yes. maybe more. Yeah. yeah so. Yeah. We missed our shot there, but that's all <laughs> yeah, right, you know. It's okay. <laughs> so you got the GMP one instead. Exactly, so and uh, it's all sealed except for our, for the motors. Uh, I don't think they ever made a an opening one GMP. No, always made them uh, sealed, trunk closed, and uh, door shut. But at least they made a an opening hood with a nice. 3.8 model, 3.8 liter model. Yeah, beautiful car. I love it. Yeah, yeah. it's really nice. So here we, here we are back at the other shelf. There's one car I want to see and I want to show uh, all my viewers. It's this one. This is something, man. The hammer. The hammer. This one is made by Minichamp. It's all sealed? All sealed. Good luck finding one, honestly. Yeah, they're rare. Yeah. What a nice car. Yeah. You got a few Mercedes here. Yeah, nice. I have uh, not that much. I have five. I have the 300 SL mm -hmm. Gullwing, uh, 180, uh, 190. The e. Evo. Yeah. yeah. Uh, McLaren SLR. And this one is a previous version made by GD Spirit. It's very nice. That's a cool one. Beautiful one. Red interior. And you got your Nissan Datsun shelf here. These are cool, man. Yeah. The yellow one on top is made by Auto Art. Uh, ironically, I. I wasn't supposed to buy this car. I, it was on eBay. And at the end of the auction, I just had $1 at, at the current price. And it said, oh, you won the auction. So I was about, okay, let's pay it and have it. How much did you pay for that? Uh, it's, it's what, it was kind of, uh, kind of cheap. I, with the shipping and everything, it was like a hundred and seventy-five dollar Canadian. So oh, not so bad not for so an auto bad. art. Yeah, the blue one is from Solido, eh? Exactly. Yeah. Beautiful. They, yeah, I know. Solido has come a long way since yeah. you know. Uh, I and bought I bought a lot of Solidos, and I, I'll I'll continue buying those. The black one, uh, the black one, and the orange one under are also from Solido, and. I will have the equivalent of this one in Midnight Purple from Solido. From Solido. I just bought it uh, yesterday. And we Midnight haven't Park. seen these four GTs. Cool car, man. So uh, they are in the 
the error order. So uh, the first one on top is the Mark one. Mm -hmm. The the one under is the Mark two. This is the one that uh, was featured in the Ford versus Ford, Ferrari, exactly, movie. driven by Ken Miles. Mm -hmm. uh, this is the Mark four, the yellow one. The I never, I don't think they ever made a Mark three in diecast. I never found one. So uh, you have the Mark one, two, and four. Okay. And uh, the red one is uh, the a more modern one. It, it's the prototype from 2005. Okay. Who made this model? Uh, it's a weird company that I never remember the name. <laughs> That's why I was asking, because yeah. I can't remember also. No. Let's check it out. It was yeah. made by the Beanstalk Group. Yeah. Never heard of that company before. I promise you, this is the only car I have from this <laughs> this company. <laughs> so you have the uh, nice GT2 here, the 996 from Odoar? Yeah. Yeah? It's not the charcoal gray that you have, which is <laughs> probably the rarest color that you can I know. Have. And, but I was able to get a silver one at it's still a beautiful car. It's I know. one of my favorites. So. The black one is the a turbo? One, uh, it's a turbo, but from uh, Maestro or BB Dragon. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. You got the 959 from AutoArt. I got the same. Exactly. The 924 here from AutoArt also? Uh, no, Mini Chip. This is a Mini Chip. Yeah. And the Carrera GT. Exactly. Oh, the green one is nice. What can you tell yeah. me about the green one? The green one, it's obviously not the original color. No? <laughs> no, no, it was uh, white originally. And it was a cup car. And this is why you have the yellow headlights. Okay. Uh, and it's from uh, Bibirago. And the, the sticker on those were literally slap on the, on the yeah, car. Yeah, I know it was garbage. Awful, awful, yeah, awful. And... So I decided to remove them and hey, why not paint the car while we are at it? So I decided on the green, like seven up green or something like that. So <laughs> is it officially your first custom car? That that was my first custom car. Yeah. Looks pretty nice. Ben. Yeah, yeah. So honestly, I could spend all day here just looking at those cars, but we have other cars to see. Yeah, in the living room. <laughs> all right, let's go. So these are all your other cars. I see uh, you're quite a Hot Wheel collector. Yeah. Who's, uh, whose fault is that? It's your fault, but it's <laughs> a, a fraction of the number of uh, Hot Wheels that you have in your own collection. Yeah, but this channel is called Life in 118 Scale, so we're not going to talk about <laughs> no, those. No. So what about this one? This is a uh, nice uh, De Tommaso Pantera. Yeah, it's made by Hot Wheels. And this one, this one I like. This is the yeah. Ariel Atom. Exactly. It's uh, right. made by uh, Soul Model. Uh, I think it's the only die cast that they made. It's very detailed and a beautiful car. I can uh, show it to you if you want. Very nice details. It's actually a cool car also. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. And these two here, I've seen those before. <laughs> yes. Also, if you haven't seen, uh, I've made a review of each car, so uh, just if you haven't seen it. Open this for you. Oh, you can open it? Of course. Ah, don't break anything. No, no, no. Here, these are absolutely beautiful cars, man. Both are made by Otoar. Very, very beautiful models. The the blue one on top is a an LB Works uh, yeah. modified car. So. I made a video about this car. Yeah, it's an Aventador. Very nice. So the last piece I want to I want to talk about is this little guy here. This guy has a lot of history. What what is yeah. it? It's a Lamborghini Veneno mm -hmm. made by AutoArt. I bought it used from uh, a seller near uh, near town here, mm -hmm. but it had a few problems. As if, yeah. And uh, the seller that I bought it from 
didn't know those things because uh, he bought the car used. Mm -hmm. He just opened the, the top of the box, look at the car, was everything okay? And from this point of view, the car was perfect. So, okay, okay. Um, but when I, so I decided to buy it, when I opened it, um, there was a lot of issues with this car. Issues that I had to to take care of. To take care of, and I had to order spare parts from Auto Art oh, that's in funny. Germany. So, yeah, that's, that's... so you 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 dismantle it. Uh, you you. Uh... I had I had to dismantle it. And this, it's this a is... very expensive car, by the way. It's the most expensive car of my collection. Okay. So, uh, and it was the one that I had the most issues with. So. Yeah. So you had to order parts from AutoArt. That that must have been yeah. fun. Yeah. <laughs> but I was lucky enough to to get the spare parts because the the spare part that you can buy from AutoArt is from dismantled cars, the cars that were broken in yeah, the process and everything. Yeah, reject but they cars. Salvage, yeah. They salvage parts. And I was lucky enough to m have most of the missing parts. The only one that is not a, an original one, it's the inside mirror. It's the, the, the mirror of a Pagani Ura. Oh, <laughs> cool. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> At least it's it's from it's, auto art. <laughs> yeah, right. So it's in there. So uh, yeah, <laughs> small details. But the uh, the issues were that the uh, the roof liner inside was literally moving. It was not, it was not glued fixed. or snap okay, anymore. Okay. It, it was still there, but it was not properly fixed. Okay. And this is probably why I lost the inside mirror. The inside mirror was nowhere to be found in the car. Okay, okay. It was not in the box or everything. So uh, for the liner, I just had to re-glue it in place and it was fine. So as for the interior, it was the only issue. Mm -hmm. On the exterior, we have some uh, radiator inside here. And um, the left one was literally missing. But when you were shaking the car, it was rattling inside. Exactly. <laughs> and it was in two pieces. The the silver piece, uh, which mimicked the radiator, and the grill that is in front. Mm -hmm. They were separated and moving around. Okay. I bought some because I wasn't sure I was going to be able to salvage them, but this one is the original one. I okay. was able to re-glue the, the parts together and re-snap it in place. And now it's... It's all fine. The biggest thing, and seriously, I don't know how that how it could happens. have happened. This part here is a one-piece part. Okay. And the one that I had on the car was missing both grills here. Okay. So it was only the, the middle part that was there. I don't know what happened, but I was lucky enough to have this part available on the auto art uh, spare part uh, website because for me this was a showstopper i don't like oh, to absolutely. see holes where there's no holes nah, in I the know. car so uh, those were the shows that i had okay. i received the part installed them and now i have a complete car was it <laughs> difficult to uh, to reassemble was it difficult no, to no, work it on it was very easy uh, uh, so someone could customize this car? Absolutely. Oh, it, okay. it can be uh, dismantled to the, the bare minimum. We have uh, uh, four, four screws, six screws, sorry, uh, that you have to remove. Mm -hmm. And then uh, everything very uh, comes off very easily. You have access to the interior if you wanted to put some uh, red bucket seat yeah, instead yeah. of okay. black ones and oh. everything so it's uh, good news yeah yeah so this car is worth a lot of money these days yes but it's not the rarest uh, i believe the red one or there, there oh, were, in there... terms of color uh yeah maybe uh the white one is not necessarily the the rarest one i think it might be the green one or the green the, one yes you are yeah. mentioning the red maybe but uh hmm. Uh, I love the white one. I love the details of the white one. Okay. I love the 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 red accent on them. So, 
Cool. So, Luke, thank you very much for having me today. It was my pleasure, you, man. You have quite a collection. I'm pretty sure I can spend all day here looking at diecast. But so you know what? I'm gonna be back here this summer to film more car. Is that all right with you? My door is always open for you, man. All right. Thank you very much for having me. No problem. Audio jungle.